Hey what's up everyone, welcome to FX Maniac, this is Ayad Mahmoud Amiri again. Welcome to another really cool tutorial, I'll show you guys how to create some realistic materials using Arnold inside of Maya 2022. So uh, these are some of the most uh, used materials I would say that you're going to be facing and I'll show you guys how to create them using Arnold and Maya. So uh, let's get started, so I'm just going to go into Maya 2022. And I'm just going to create a plane. So shift, right click and drag a plane here. I do want to make sure that it is big enough. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold down shift and right click and add a sphere. So probably be there. Make sure it is touching the ground. And just for good measure, I'm just going to go into the polysphere and select them both and increase the number of uh, subdivisions to 40 just because we will get a nicer material so I'm just gonna need uh, like seven of these so I'm just gonna copy this by shift dragging it to the left and uh, hit like shift D to kind of uh, do the last action so we have like three six we have one extra so three six seven eight now one more yeah so now we have like seven all right, so I'm just going to select them and just move them in the center of the frame. And uh, that's about it. So for this, uh, because we're using, uh, uh, we want to look, we want the materials to look realistic, we will need an HDRI or a an image-based lighting. So in this case, I've used an HDRI in the background so you can see the uh, materials, how they would react in a real-world sort of situation. So I'm just going to go into Maya. Uh, first off, I'll need an HDRI, so if you don't have one, you can go ahead into the HDRI Haven, click on HDRIs, and they have some plenty of good HDRIs, which you can go ahead, I've used this particular one. They have to like 16K quality, so they're really high quality, and uh, they're amazing, so check them out. So I'm going to be using this one particularly. By the way, if you're looking for some really high quality, royalty-free, no copyright music, you can go ahead and check us out on our Audio Aura channel. So you can, we have plenty of great music and we're constantly uploading like every uh, other day. So make sure to check us out and support us on, uh, on this channel. It would mean a lot to me. So uh, let's get back to the tutorial. So I'm just going to go into Maya, go to Arnold, Lights. And if you don't have Arnold or it's not loaded for some reason, you can just go ahead into Windows, uh, settings and preferences plugin manager and make sure search for m2a and make sure it is loaded and uh, that'll bring you up the Arnold menu so I'm just gonna go into lights and add a sky dome light and hit control a for the attribute editor you can you can go ahead and leave it like this but I'm just gonna be using an image in the color slot so I'm just gonna go click on it and click on file and click on this image name folder so I have this folder right here and uh, here is my HDR so I'm just going to select it and hit open. So now we have our HDR here and uh, if I go into the renderer and choose like Arnold and play it, click on play, the scene will actually be lit by that HDRI. So if I select that and I rotate it around, you can see that the lighting changes based on the position of the sun in that particular image all right so what I'm going to do is just gonna set it to be like this right here and uh, I'm just gonna go to select and uh, deselect all so now we're gonna be creating our materials all right so the first material is gonna be very simple uh, it's called the car paint material so you're gonna go into uh, the first one right click uh, assign new material and go into Arnold shader and hit the AI standard surface so for the car, car paint material you can choose any color depending on uh, your needs typically used for cars and stuff uh, so I'm just gonna go into like a blue color probably like this a bit darker and the setting that you want to mess with is you have a lot of different settings here okay we don't want to mess with any of these except for the quote so mm -hmm. not quote like coat so I'm just going to increase the coat to one and that is basically it a car paint material that you can go ahead and you know this is mostly you can right click go into material attributes this is mostly used for uh, uh, 
you know, cars and that sort of machinery. But then you have things like roughness. So if you want it to be rough, not too much like shiny and sharp, you can go ahead and increase that. Or you have the IOR, which we're going to take a look at later. So just if you decrease it to zero, you're going to have a very reflective sort of car paint material. You can see clearly the reflections in there. But if you choose uh, increase the roughness, it'll make it a lot more rough. So uh, that is basically the setting to go there. So that's basically it for the car paint one. The next one, I'm going to be adding a bumpy sort of material, typically for hard surfaces. All right, so for this one, I'm just going to go ahead into the uh, Apply New Material and click on Shader again in AI Standard Surface. And um, so you can you can give it a color, like any color that you want. So maybe I'll be like dark um, orange. And uh, if you want to add some bumping, you can go ahead into the geometry here and into the bump mapping. Click here and go into file. And I'm just going to click on the uh, file here and click on that folder. So I have this noise texture that I'm going to apply it onto this material. And you can see that we are already having some uh, cool looking bumping going on into the material. But I'm just going to go into the value. You can go ahead and increase it or decrease it to create something like a little indentation looking effect. So I'm just going to set it to like 1.5 or something, and then I'm going to go into the bump value. You can go into the Place 2D texture and uh, repeat the UVs, so it'll essentially repeat the texture onto the object. So I'm just going to make it like, what, 15 by 15. And I'm just going to go back and uh, make sure that the bump value is not that much. So I'm just going to go here and make it like 1 or 0.6 so it's kind of looking like a little bumpy material so yeah so that is how you create and again you can go ahead and uh, adjust the other settings as well so you can go into the uh, specular maybe the roughness decrease it or increase it based on the material or you can go even add a little bit of a metalness to this so it'll be like a metallic sort of a material so you can decrease the roughness but I think it's looking pretty fine right now okay and also it depends on the the lighting on it is 100% dependent on how on which the direction of the light is in your image so it is like a real world sort of that is basically HDR lighting right so high dynamic range image and you can use it to light your scenes all right the next material that we're going to be building is the water or glass material. So I'm just going to go ahead, right click, and go into apply new material. You can also go to the favorite material and add the standard surface here. So you can do that by, if I go into assign new material, go into shader, hold down shift and right click and set it to add to favorites. So like you don't have to go like all the time. So you can just right click, go into apply favorite material and add the standard surface all right um yeah but you can also go ahead and you know do it like this way so i'm just gonna go yeah so for the glass material you want to set the color to black and the transmission to a hundred percent so that it'll be just like that but then we don't want any sort of uh, uh diffuse uh, roughness because this is supposed to be like glass so I'm just going to go ahead and just like that. And you have the IOR here as well. So this is the actual IOR for the glass. So for water, it is something like 1.33. For glass, 1.5. And again, uh, water and glass materials are actually very dependent on the environment. So you can go ahead and choose that sort of a scene just like that. And make sure if you don't want to select anything, hit Alt-D so everything will be deselected just like that all right so that's how you create like a gra glass material so the next one that we're going to be taking a look at is the uh, chrome or a fully metallic material so you can go ahead right click add a new material go into shader and external surface and I'm just the, the only thing you have to do is increase the metalness up to 100% and that will create like a fully 
chrome looking metallic material but then you have the option to control the def the sorry the roughness so I'm just gonna go into material attributes roughness if it is less it is gonna be like a full chrome 100% and if it is more then it's gonna be like a diffused chrome material so that is basically it so I'm just gonna make it like this much so it's fine and uh, yeah it's looking pretty nice and uh, you know if you change this image the whole thing is gonna change so make sure to keep that in mind alright so the next material that we're gonna be creating is the uh, is gonna be like a honey or any sort of thick liquid so I'm just gonna apply a new material shader yeah, it's not a surface so you can go ahead and turn on the uh, transmission just like we did for the water or glass material but you can go ahead and give it like a color probably like a little bit of a honeyish color and then increase the depth a little bit not so much maybe like two and the scatter it should be like a different shade of that same color so probably a bit darker shade and this one as well and turn down the depth to one so the depth is like how thick it is so the more you go the more light it's gonna be but you know the less the more dense it's gonna look so like 1.3 I think is looking fine so I'll hit all D here alright so I mean I'm just using these shapes these spheres as like a example shapes you can apply them to different like objects so I can go ahead and add like a uh, what um, a little torus so here I'm just gonna move it up and what material is this so it's like the AI standard surface 4 so I'm just gonna right click and go into the apply existing material AI standard surface 4 so it's basically looking the same in every different object so you can go ahead and use that I'm just using the spheres as an example right so uh, quickly get on to the next material it is pretty uh, it's a very cool material it's like a material that emits light so you can use it for uh, light emitting objects so I'm gonna go into here and just right click again add a new material shader and air center surface and uh, basically you want to give it like a color so you can go into the uh, emission and you can go and increase the amount and change the color to probably like like a bluish so if you want to have if you want it to have like a blue light that's like that if it's not strong enough you can go ahead and increase that to like five so it's basically illuminating the scene as well so it's it's looking nice and I can go ahead and take this plane make it larger so it covers the whole thing just like that and uh, yeah so you can go ahead and select this uh, sky dome and you can decrease the intensity so it will basically affect everything so th that means less light and now you can see this very clearly that it is actually emitting light and you know making the whole scene bright so just like that or you can go ahead and change the color to probably like a uh, warm color which would make it look very good all right and the last one that we're going to be talking about is going to be like a subsurface scattering just like like a skin or candle uh, or like a grape material so you can go ahead and apply the AI standard surface again and here you have like you can go ahead and give it like a color or anything increase the coat a little bit hit F on this and you can go ahead and into the material attributes and go to subsurface you can increase that to one so here you basically need two colors depending on the object that you're trying to create so if you're going for like a uh, uh, like a skin color so you go the first one should be like a little skinnish sort of a color but then the uh, the radius color should be actually the color that kind of like diffuses through when it hits the light so it, it needs to be like two different shades of the color and you know the scale is basically the amount sort of in which they sort of blend together alright 
and this this will be more obvious if we have like you know lights if you have like a different object and light is hitting from one side just like the skin does so I'm probably gonna do a separate tutorial on this but here we have our materials you know it's they're basically looking really nice and I can go ahead and increase this to 0.6 I can even go ahead and change the uh, the HDRI image and it'll change the whole thing but you get the idea right so these are some of the most frequently used materials uh, you know where you're trying to you know do your uh, material and rendering uh, you know section of your project so uh, I hope you found this useful so the one other thing that I don't want to forget here is that you can you can basically achieve the same results by just going to if you add like a new material the uh, AI center surface you can go into presets and we have like presets for almost any sort of material so you can go into like orange juice or something or you can go for um, copper clay chrome ceramic bubble blood any type any type of material that you want you can go ahead and get it here so you know I showed you guys like the ways and the settings to do it but then you can also if you don't have time you can go ahead and use these presets and uh, you know I know it's been a little bit like going back and through the materials but I hope you just learned something from it and if, if you have missed anything or have any questions, you can go ahead into my website, uh, sorry, my YouTube channel, Effects Maniac, and you can go ahead and post your question or anything you missed there. And uh, like the video if you found it useful. And if you like my content and what I'm doing, make sure to subscribe to my channel. It would mean a world to me. All right. And if you need, if you're looking for some really high quality, um, great music, royalty free, no copyright music. You can go ahead and check out our uh, audio aura channel so we have some really great and high-end music so i hope you enjoy it and you can follow me on instagram as well so this was the today's tutorial hope you enjoyed it till the next one enjoy working